Good morning, everybody. How is all going today? Ah, oh, I tell you, she's been a wet, a wet past months has been terribly wet, terribly wet and rainy. Now, I, uh, a fella asked for an update on this hot water system. Yeah, we had a shower this morning. It's down a bit. It is on and running. It's very quiet. There you go. Now let me hold the mic up here so you can hear it. Um, I got no complaints about it. Um, yeah, none at all. I mean, it's it's a boring hot water system. It, it works as intended. Heats the water up. It just works. It's like my boring solar system. It works. All right. Um, another person asked for information on the five kilowatt unit and if we've ever given a Canaan. Well, some of you know the five kilowatt deer. I've actually overloaded quite a few times in testing. It is a, another brilliant machine. It's got no solar on it at the moment. But again, um, because it's in this cupboard, I do have three fans on the top. They're fairly quiet because uh, they're household fans, 240 volt. They're controlled by this. So, and he said, do the fans ever turn on? Uh, this particular deer here is fanless. The fans do turn on on the eight kilowatt unit which currently is running everything in the house. And it's got seven and a half kilowatts of solar on it. This unit here will end up very shortly with just over five kilowatts of brand new panels on it. Um, yeah, and they're just a couple of 12 volt batteries I've got sitting there. I need to put them in a different spot. Ah. Uh, so this winner, because we took the other three kilowatts of panels that we had on this back veranda, on this, this roof here, off, because I thought I'd get an electrician pretty quick, but then we had all that really bad weather. Hopefully the electrician will be here next week, uh, because these are going to be high volt panels to mount these brand new panels on the back. But uh, because I... I didn't have those panels on the back here. We actually did need to start the generator in winter. And we used, in total, uh, probably seven and a half, eight litres of fuel. I don't know, I've got to empty the generator to see how much is left in it. But that's not bad. Um, that's the first time in 15 months that we've ever needed to start the generator other for servicing. Of course, you know, you have to change the oil and run it and service it. And every few months you have to start it to charge the batteries, make sure it's starter batteries charged. But other than that, we've never had to use it to produce electricity. Um, so I'm a bit disappointed but it's understandable because we are, we are currently missing three kilowatts of panels off the roof that we took off and gave away. They weren't terribly old. And we've got uh, another 12 panels there to replace them. So in that same surface area that we had three kilowatts of panels, we're putting uh, 5,240 watts of solar panels, I believe these that will add up to. And that's all those brand new panels are going on this five kilowatt deer. And I'm just waiting to see if I can do a, another battery deal. And then we'll run off this one, which will require, will require a quick rewire of the changeover switch, the automatic changeover switch. And then we'll get, we'll run off that one 
and we'll, we'll kind of use this as a grid and that's just to show how it would all work if you were connected to the grid with a 10 kilowatt hour battery. This 5 kilowatt hour battery, that's usable, usable power, it's a 6.5 kilowatt hour battery from Dia. Um, after my testing is too small uh, for other than a couple of hours backup. Okay, and in my point of view, if you lived in a flat or you were very, very, like I run a normal house, we run electric hot water systems, air conditioners, but if you lived more power, uh, if you were more frugal with the way you moved your power, that would probably do some of you, but I recommend a minimum of a 12 kilowatt with 10 kilowatt usable. Okay, um, so I'm trying to get the brother to this one or a 10 kilowatt one to put in there because that, yeah, it's just too small for me to do realistically uh, testing for modern households like mine. Okay, uh, that's where we're up to with this because uh, this, this setup here is bulletproof and runs my house 24-7. 365 days a year and like I said the first time in about 15 months that we've actually had to use the generator for charging the batteries. Okay, we've also been working on the camper trailer. Um, now I run into a problem charging the, the batteries with the camper trailer and it took me ages to work out what it was okay but the problem with with it was this damn C-Tech battery charger um, now the cost of this charger all right I paid it at Gelton nearly six hundred dollars for this battery charger and it's not charging lithium batteries it's char putting charge in them and then shutting off before they're full, before the BMS turns off. Um, I don't know whether it's a fault with it. I'm actually going to... I want C-Tech to view this video. Um, because I can't recommend these for lithium batteries if they're shutting off before the BMS does because that means the battery's not full. As a matter of fact, when that one shut off, okay, I weren't, I wasn't even at the correct voltage. So I plugged in this little 20 amp Victron I got here. Uh, okay. And that took about another 12 hours to finish charging my batteries. Uh, and then it went into standby mode as it was running all the uh, 67 watts of all the little vampire loads I've got. So, yeah, I'm sorry, SeaTac, but unless this has actually got a fault in it, I was always a bit suspicious about it. And people said, oh no, they're good, they're good, they're good. Well, I can't recommend them for lithium, I'm sorry. Um, after my testing and everything else, it was a total waste of $600. All right. So, that's an update for you on everything. Uh, a couple of people asked questions, I've answered those. Um, what we're looking to do in the future is I want to get some of those prismatic cell warm out batteries and I totally want to redo this camper trailer all the electrical wiring everything I want to totally redo it um, yeah yeah that's basically it I just want to totally redo all my wiring uh, put a couple of new batteries in <coughs> I'm not sure what brand I'm going to be using yet, but I do want the 
They, I, I see now that they make uh, ones in steel boxes that are very thin. They're a, you know, they're a little bit thicker than a prismatic cell battery. And you just screw them onto the walls and they take up a lot less room. Um, I mean, they are much longer and a little bit higher, but they take up a lot less room than the uh, old style of just bolt-in, you know, square rectangle type uh, lithium AGNs or all that. Uh, they've got a lot smaller footprint because they're tucked right in against the wall. So I'm currently looking at uh, grabbing a couple of those. Look, it's just so wet out there in the bush we have not been able to go camping. Um, which has been uh, devastating. You know, you just... I respect the bush too much to go in there and rip it all up with a, with a vehicle. Okay, and, and leave great big wheel tracks and bog holes all over the place like a lot of four-wheel drive clubs and city people do. Um, they're just out there to get bogged and, and have fun, whereas I actually go out there to enjoy and respect uh, the country, and that's it, all right? And, uh, yeah, we, we actually... Get, are very disappointed when we see people go out there with no respect for country and just tear it all up with their four-wheel drives. It's just no good at all. No good at all. All right, that's it. That's the update video. Um, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, Ziggy and I are both well and healthy. And the power system has been going absolutely brilliantly. Absolutely brilliantly. And... Yeah, apart from having to use those few litres of fuel, I mean, uh, it's, it's a bit devastating for me, you know. I mean, a lot of you will go, oh, that's not much fuel, Chris, you know, be realistic. But being realistic is we want to be 100% powered by solar. And once we install these solar panels, we should be getting back to that. That's, that's my wish. And that's my whole aim when I started this, was to get off the dirty grid because they nearly burnt my house down with the massive voltage fluctuations that were coming through our electrical system. And uh, since we've been off grid, we haven't blown any computer power supplies, any light loads, we haven't blown um, any, anything. All right, no fridge motors, no air conditioner motors, because uh, the power that comes out of these inverters, these Dias, is just so stable and smooth. And I tell you, it's just something you will never get off the Western Australian power grid. There's no way can they produce power as, as clean as these. All right, there's my views. Hope you enjoy the video. Keep safe, everyone. Bye for now.